Now let's talk about the extraction of zinc. Well, the extraction of zinc involves two processes. First, the zinc is extracted as an ore with so many impurities. So you have like a zinc ore here, so many impurities. And this ore is crushed into tiny, tiny pieces. And then what happens is we use a process called froth flotation. And in froth flotation, what happens is we, t we take those tiny, tiny pieces and we spray them onto a tank of water and we blow some air onto this tank of water plus a frothing agent. You guys are not responsible for that, but just I wanted to clarify it for you. Now... What happens is, we don't expect to get pure zinc from this process. What do we expect? We only expect zinc sulfide or zinc blend. Okay, so what happens is, after we spray those tiny, tiny pieces, the soaked particles will sink to the bottom. Okay, like the red circles I pointed out now the zinc blend we expect it to be floating onto the top so the orange circles is the zinc blend which we expect to be floating now the next thing that happens is that we take this zinc blend which is zinc sulfide and we put it in a furnace and heat it up to high temperatures and this is the reaction that occurs well it gives out zinc oxide solid plus sulfur dioxide gas now the thing that happens here we take the sulfur dioxide gas and we use it to manufacture other things like for example sulfuric acid now the thing that happens is the next thing we take the zinc oxide and we reduce it in a blast furnace using coke so the zinc oxide will react with coke in a blast furnace and would give zinc and carbon monoxide gas and this is how we get zinc at the end so let's go over this one more time so the initial process the froth flotation you guys are not responsible for but the last two equations you guys are responsible for so what happens is we said that we take the 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 not purified ore and we we crush it into tiny tiny pieces and then we spray those pieces onto a tank of water with a frothing agent and what happens is the zinc blend will float onto the top now we take this zinc blend and we heat it up in a furnace at a very high temperatures and we get zinc oxide and sulfuric no not sulfuric acid we get sulfur dioxide gas and the sulfur dioxide gas is used to make sulfuric acid and other things now the zinc oxide is taken and we use it to in a hot blast furnace and reduce it using coke so here is the reaction between zinc oxide and coke this would give us zinc and carbon monoxide gas so that's it for the extraction of zinc uh, I hope this was clear for you guys stay tuned for the next videos we're gonna talk more about corrosion and how do we prevent that so stay tuned and good luck